Hello and welcome to GD Live at Pulse. This is teacher Alex with the subject GD Science and today's topic is forms of heat transfer. Quick overview. In this presentation we will talk about heat and temperature, what they are, and the three forms of heat transfer, conduction, convection and radiation. Heat and temperature. The particles that make up any substance are constantly moving. Temperature is the measure of the average speed or the average kinetic energy of the particles of the substance. In general, particles move slowest in a solid state of a substance and faster in the liquid state and fastest in gases. That means in the solid state the kinetic energy and thus the temperature is low in the gaseous state. The kinetic energy of the particles is high on average and the temperature is higher. And this is the reason, for example, that ice in the solid state has a lower temperature than liquid water. And liquid water has a lower temperature than water vapor or steam. Heat itself is the transfer of energy between substances based on the differences in their temperature. Energy is always transferred from a substance with a higher temperature to a substance with a lower temperature until a balance or an equilibrium is reached and both substances have the same temperature. When an ice cube melts, energy from the warmer air flows into the cold ice cube. This causes the ice cube's particles to move faster. They can, their kinetic energy increases and this raises the temperature and in the end this will cause it to change from solid to liquid state until the water and the room have the same temperature. Remember that energy is the ability to do work. When heat is transferred to a substance its particles move faster because work is done on the substance. Here we have a depiction that shows the three ways of heat transfer which we will have a closer look at now. Conduction, convection and radiation. Let's start with conduction. Conduction transfers heat between two substances that are directly touching or from one particle to another by direct contact. When you touch a hot handle the heat transfers directly from the handle to your hand and conduction energy will continue to be transferred until the temperature of the two substances are equal, until the average kinetic energy of all the particles is equal. Now down here we can see two depictions of how conduction works. We can see that when heat is applied to one side the particles will start to vibrate faster and this vibration spreads through the substance due to the direct contact of particles with each other and the energy or the kinetic energy being transferred from one particle to the next. This is conduction. Convection transfers heat by the movement of particles from one place to another. It happens in liquids and gases. So look at the water in the diagram below. As the water in the bottom of the pot gets warmer, it also gets less dense. The less dense, warm water moves towards the top of the pot. And the denser, cool water moves to the bottom. The movement creates convection currents that circulate the heat through the water. This is the reason why we heat water from below. Since the hot water is less dense, it is less dense because the particles move faster and they will take up less space. So there are less particles per defined unit of volume, which makes it less dense. At the same time, while the hot water is rising to the top, cold water will fall to the bottom of the pot because it is more dense. That means that the cold water can get heated up from the heat source below the pot, the 
cold water gets hot, becomes less dense and it will rise to the top. So when we heat water from below on the stove, we make sure that the water will heat uniformly. If you heat water from the top, for example, this will cause the top layer of the water to become hot. And since hot water is less dense than cold water, the hot water will stay on top of the cold water and we don't have any mixing of the two bodies of water. Convection currents are found in many, many different places on Earth. One example is in the Earth's mantle, where we have lava, which is heated by the core, and the hot magma will rise closer to the crust, where it will cool down and it will fall back down due to its higher density towards the core get heated up again and we see we have these convection currents in the mantle of Earth. Other examples are in the atmosphere. We have pockets of air that circulate and create convection currents. Other examples would be currents in the ocean that are driven by different differences in temperature of the water as well. Radiation transfers heat by electromagnetic waves, specifically infrared, rather than through contact or movement of particles. Radiation is the only form of heat transfer that can travel through vacuum since no particles are involved. As shown in the diagram, heat radiating from a fire can be felt without actually touching the fire itself. Heating food in the microwave and the sun heating earth are also examples of heat radiation. Two questions to finish this lesson. When a coffee mug is taken out of a cabinet, it is cold to the touch. A few seconds after, hot coffee is poured into the mug. The mug begins to feel warm to the touch. Which type of heat transfer is occurring between the coffee and the mug? Take your time. You can pause the video. The correct answer will come now. The correct answer is conduction, since the coffee is in direct contact with the mug and energy is transferred from coffee particles to the particles of the mug. Which statement best explains why the mug feels hot? The air transfers energy to the mug, the air transfers energy to the coffee, the mug transfers energy to the coffee, the coffee transfers energy to the mug. Take your time, you can pause the video. The correct answer is coming now. The correct answer here is D. Since the coffee is hot and the mug is more cold, heat energy is transferred from the hot to the cooler substance from high to low temperature. This was GD Life at PALS with teacher Alex. The subject was GD Science and the topic forms of heat transfer.